Are you kidding? Wow. Wow, that wasn't even a high drop. Um. Dialogue would be nice. I don't know. Am I expecting a boss battle or something? That was anticlimactic. This game's dumb. Welcome everyone to the MGM channel. I'm your host Cornish. Today we're going to be talking about a game that has actually been overhyped. To be fair, I, I've seen I've seen it advertised and the way they were portraying it, it was going to be a pretty cool game. But unfortunately, it didn't live to its expectations. So let's talk about Windbounds. Windbounds is a survival open world island adventure. May have many secrets on each island and the mysterious storm all around you, uh, you end up going to these different islands to unlock its secret to something which uh, the story really didn't describe at the intro. Um, <laughs> let's, that, that's, that's all I can really say because there is a few things to say about this game and I'll be quite honest with you, I'm going to be fully honest with its ups and downs. So let's talk about the intro to the game. Uh, literally, you're a character who I believe is called Kara? K-A-R-A. So you're on your travels with your, I guess, tribe, and then this giant snail octopus thing, which I'm guessing could be a god of the sea, I don't know, um, crashes your ship and then when you wake up, you wake up on a random deserted island around you with the storm, so you can't get out, followed by a couple of islands around you. The funny about the introduction is, I it, it's got a huge resemblance of uh, Zelda Link's Awakening. I'm not gonna lie there, if, it, if, the, if the snail wasn't there, then they could have ripped it off. This is where the visuals come in and the music because when you start going around islands and you start traveling around the music is absolutely astonishing and it goes very well with the visual of the game and the art style personally it's 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 quite a nice breeze and a chill when you um start getting your boat ready and you go out there which is cool Unfortunately, the game is ruined by its combat and control schemes, let alone crafting. Um, I have to say this to me was one of the worst crafting material builds to make items I've ever seen. Say for an example, I want a pickaxe and an axe. And in every survival game, the basic materials to make an axe and a pickaxe is rope, stick, and rock. You would think that's simple, right? No, unfortunately not. Now, we'll get into this whole needing requirements of them materials in a second. I wanna to talk to you about the three islands you start off with. Uh, they're very small, and they're pretty far away, and they're not very exciting. But when you get to the third island, there should be some sticks. Now. Let's get back into the stone and what I wanted is a stone and pickaxe there. In order to use or make them, you need to fight these giant ball-like things with these big shell horns. And uh, in order to fight them, you'll need to get some spears or whatever you can. But there, there's no way you're going to get any other higher weapon than a spear. So, you get three sticks from that island and I believe combine two to have one stick. Now that one stick after 12 hits breaks, which will result you into a knife that does hardly any damage. So you're trying to fight one of those ball things and it's not taking much health off it. And then your weapon breaks and all you're left with is a dagger. Now with that being said, with the terrible combat system added, it's just a mess. It really, really is. And it's, it's, a, it's just, just clunky it's horrible but with that being said as well the health system is uh and the stamina 
Even the stamina is really bad. Not to mention, there is hardly any food around. And in order to get your health and stamina up, you'll need to eat food. Now, there are pigs around. And there's also other th creatures. But they don't give you that amount of health. I played an hour and a half of this game. And the introduction to this game was the most boring game I've seen. Because in every video game I've played, there's always an introduction that gives you something to say, look, here's our game, this is what it's going to be like, it's going to be amazing, uh, this is just a taster for you, enjoy. The game didn't do that, it really didn't do that. And when we went when we went to these islands and collect these weird mysterious um, ornaments to get to the portal onto the big island, we were greeted with just a cutscene which showed a picture of, I guess, that snail and people praying. For me, it does not make sense at all. I, I guess they're praying for the gods. I, I, I don't know, you know. So, yeah. <sighs> but then, as well as that, the there is a bit which is right after that, which I was expecting something cool. The music's kicking in. The visualization's kicking in. Oh, my God, the waves are looking cool. You're going fast. Uh, following the wave like a like a bodyboard or a surfboard and it's it's there's something cool coming along something cool and then when you get to the end nothing oh what it is follow it oh possible follow it am i right i don't think I Ah! Nerf the waves! Ah, okay! That's how you get faster. You, you use the waves. Like a bodyboard. That's cool. That's pretty freaking awesome. I don't know. Am I expecting a boss battle or something? I thought it'd be in a boss battle, you know, because... Okay. That was anticlimactic. That was really. <laughs> it was the most anticlimactic thing I've ever seen, man. All I can say about this game is the visuals and the art and the music is absolutely fantastic. Ruined by gameplay controllers and combat system. Uh, not to mention full damage. Full damage is the worst on this game, because even if you go down on a platform, which is not really high, even in realistically is not really high, a real big chunk of your health comes down to the point that you lose half of it. Okay. Oh. Are you kidding? Wow. Wow, that wasn't even a high drop. Oh. Well, guess what? This four. Oh. Do I think it's a good game? Not really. This game's dumb. It really is. I, I, it was overhyped to fuck. This game was really... Honestly, I'm pretty real when it comes to reviews and especially, you know, ones that are really good and really bad. Uh, I'm going to be honest about it. And for this game, it deserves its reviews under mixed. It was, it, there's, there's good bits and there's bad bits of this game. And I think most of the time it was, it's just based on the gameplay itself. 
It, it was overhyped in the tray. The trailer looks looked real hot. I loved the look of it. It looked amazing. But then you actually play the game, and yeah, you realise yeah, I'm playing an overhyped game with a with a price that really shouldn't be worth it. I'm not gonna go and research. I guess it's like thirty dollars, and in UK money is twenty four pounds ninety nine. That's a bit too steep for a game like this. Um, if it goes on offer, I would strongly recommend you guys to try it. If it goes on offer, I wouldn't get it at £24.99 though. And uh, that is my review of Windbound. That's the best I can say because the story didn't really throw much at me. And um, yeah. Now, a big shout out to the team, Luke and Big C. Uh, first off, Luke has been doing some cool stuff. He's been pumping these uploads. So there's some quick, really cool quick videos. I would suggest you to check him out and give him some support, man. Uh, second of all, Big C is an absolute whiz when it comes to the uh, visualizations of the intro. As you saw, we have a new intro. And he was working on that. He, he put all the static in, he put all the intro. And absolutely cool i added all the sound effects and the sounds and kind of manipulated some of like the videos so we can have like this different style transition but in the same theme and man it turned it looks it looks really nice now it looks really nice if you want to have a chat with us feel free to come into discord and say hi um if you want i would like to hear your experience with windbounds if you have played it and you may, I know you may enjoy it, but remember, we're just different people here. And that is Cornish signing out. You guys, take care and have a wonderful day.